Hello and welcome to Dot Dot Toys. Today we are going to learn about Harriet Tubman. We will learn about who she was, as well as how she helped to shape America. So stay tuned and keep watching so you can learn all about her. Harriet Tubman was born a slave on a plantation in Maryland. Historians think she was born in 1820 or possibly 1821, but birth records weren't kept by most slave owners. Her name was Araminta Ross. She changed her name to Harriet around the time of her marriage, possibly to honor her mother. Life as a slave was difficult. Harriet first lived in a one-room cabin with her family that included 11 children. When she was only six years old, she was loaned out to another family where she helped to take care of a baby. She was sometimes beaten, and all she got to eat was table scraps. Later, Harriet worked a number of jobs on the plantation, such as plowing fields and loading produce into wagons. She became strong doing manual labor that included hauling logs and driving oxen. When Harriet was 12, an overseer threw an iron weight at her and struck her in the head. She was standing up for another slave. For the rest of her life, she suffered from blackouts and headaches. During this time, there were states in the northern United States where slavery was outlawed. Slaves would try to escape to the north using something called the Underground Railroad. This wasn't actually a real railroad. It was a number of safe homes called stations. Those safe homes or stations hid slaves as they traveled north. The people that helped the slaves were called conductors. Slaves would move from station to station at night, hiding in the woods or sneaking onto trains until they finally reached the north and had their freedom. Harriet Tubman escaped slavery in 1849 and headed to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, using the Underground Railroad for her escape. Once she was there, she set about a personal mission to help other members of her family to escape, which eventually became a mission for all other slaves. In 1850, the Fugitive Slave Act was passed. This meant that slaves could be taken from free states and returned to their owners. In order to be free, slaves now had to escape to Canada. Harriet wanted to help others, including her family, to safety in Canada. She joined the Underground Railroad as a conductor. Harriet became famous as an Underground Railroad conductor. She led 19 different escapes from the South and helped almost 300 slaves to escape. She became known as Moses because, like Moses in the Bible, she led her people to freedom. Harriet was truly brave. She risked her life and freedom to help others. She also helped her family, including her mother and father, to escape. She was never caught and never lost a slave she was helping. Harriet's bravery and service did not end with the Underground Railroad. She also helped during the Civil War. She helped to nurse injured soldiers, serve as a spy for the North, and even helped on military campaigns that led to the rescue of over 750 slaves. After the Civil War, Harriet Tubman returned to Auburn, New York. Her father died in 1871, while her mother passed nine years later. On March 18, 1869, Harriet Tubman married Nelson Davis, a former soldier and brickmaker. As Harriet Tubman aged, the head injuries sustained early in her life became more painful and more disruptive. She underwent brain surgery at Boston's Massachusetts General Hospital to alleviate the pains and buzzing she experienced regularly. Tubman was eventually admitted into the rest home named in her honor. Surrounded by friends and family, Harriet Tubman died of pneumonia on March 10, 1913 at the age of 93. 
She was buried with military honors at Fort Hill Cemetery in Auburn, New York. Harriet Tubman, widely known and well-respected while she was alive, became an American icon in the years after she died. A survey at the end of the 20th century named her as one of the most famous people in American history before the Civil War, third only to Betsy Ross and Paul Revere. Thank you so much for watching this video about Harriet Tubman and what she was able to do to help slaves escape through the Underground Railroad. Because of her, she helped hundreds and hundreds of slaves to reach freedom. If you like this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button and also don't forget to subscribe. We put out videos like this and many other fun and educational videos for you to enjoy every Monday and Thursday. Again, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye.